Hello guys, it's Graham Alice here with another video. I just want to take a moment and say sorry for the lack of uploads. It's just the holiday season makes my work really busy and I just haven't had the time to actually upload a video. So today's video is, is Top 10 Dumb Laws of Michigan. Let's get ready to dive on in. See what kind of crazy laws that it has. Number 10. Persons may not be drunk on drains. I could kind of see why they may have this, but then at the same time it's kind of dumb. Like, I could only see it because it could be like a safety thing. Like, you don't want drunk people, like, going from car to car. And then falling off the train or something. But otherwise than that, like, I really don't get it. Number nine. Cars may not be sold on Sunday. Why? Like, I get Sundays, like, a lot of people spend it with their families. I don't see the big deal, like, why can't you sell a car on Sunday, maybe that's the only day you can actually go out and buy, or, etc. Seems weird. Number eight. It's illegal for a robber to file. I mean, it is legal for a robber to file a lawsuit if he or she got hurt in your house. Now this, this is really dumb because to me they shouldn't have any rights like that because they literally broke into your house and was trying to take your property. So if they get hurt, it's on them because you need to invite them in. So any liability of them getting hurt should be on them. Like I think this one actually needs to be repealed. I think it's really dumb. Number seven. Any person over the age of 12 may have a license for a handgun as long as he or she has not been convicted of a felony. I highly doubt in the modern society, this modern society, that they would allow something like this. Because a certain political party would lose their mind if it was actually allowed. So I'm highly doubtful that this is a thing. And 12 is kind of really young. For a gun, not going to lie. It's number 6. It's illegal for a man to scowl at his wife on Sunday. This one's kind of dumb because you shouldn't be able to like, control people like how they feel. So maybe he's not happy with his wife. He shouldn't be getting in trouble if he scowls at her on a Sunday. Maybe they had a fight or something. Like you never know. Seems really dumb to me. Number five. No person th shall throw an abandoned hoop skirt into any street or on any sidewalk under a penalty of a five a five dollar fine for each offense in Grand Haven. This has to be really old because females haven't really worn hoop skirts in like years, like. That's from really old times. Like, I'm just surprised that they still had this as a law. But just because it's on the books does not mean it's actually enforced. It just means it was on the books. They may have used it, but then they've kind of not had to use it because society changed. 
Number four. Putt putt golf courses must close by 1 a.m. in Detroit. I don't know why they would need to close at 1 a.m. Is it for safety? Like, I just don't see why they would, but then again, it could be just for safety. Like, that's all I can think of. The reason why they would make a law and force. Like making them close at a certain time. Number three. Willfully destroying your old radio is prohibited in Detroit. Like, how are they going to know you're destroying your old radio? Like, as long as you don't make it a mess in the public, how are they going to know? There's no way they can really enforce this all that much. So I don't know why they made it a law. Number two. Security guards at Joe Louis Arena will confiscate any item they feel might be thrown onto the ice. That gives security guards a lot of power there. Because technically anything can be thrown on the ice. Because people can do crazy things. Especially if their team wins or lose. And number one. Comment down below what you guys think number one is. It is illegal to let your pig run free in Detroit unless it has a ring in its nose. Like, you shouldn't let pigs run loose anyways for their safety and other people's safety. Because pigs can be mean. I've been around pigs before. Had one bit me. They can be mean. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I also launched a store, so if you guys want to buy some merch and help support the channel and rock some awesome merch, the link's going to be down in the description. Hope you guys have a fun, safe weekend, and have a great holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. Crime Atlas, out.